Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update this evening on Brett, which has intensified some more and it is slowly but surely closing in on the Lesser Antilles, uh, limiting the time left for final preparations to be made. And so I'll be going into all that is expected in this detailed update video. And so before I do so, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. And I also want to direct you guys to uh, another channel so they do brief updates over there so you can go ahead and click the link in the description and uh, show your support okay and so first things first we are taking a look at what is currently happening because there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity across some areas so I'm just going to briefly talk about that and then uh, we will delve into what is happening with Brett which is going to be the main focus of this video as well as the impacts to experience for the different islands of the Eastern Caribbean so uh, there we have Brett Right over to the right side of your screen but across Central America extended into the Pacific lots of showers and thunderstorms developing this afternoon so some of these periods of very heavy rainfall can even induce flooding across flood prone areas and so guys if you're in any of the affected areas going from uh, parts of Belize Guatemala to El Salvador Honduras Nicaragua Costa Rica Panama please take all necessary precautions and stay safe across sections of northern South America we also see some activity for Colombia Venezuela Guyana and even parts of Suriname and French Guiana and then over in the Eastern Caribbean where we see that cluster of activity is where that tropical wave is located so uh, it is propagating westward and Brett is going to be closing in as we head into tomorrow but uh, as we go toward the northern Caribbean, going to the Cayman Islands, likely some overcast skies, maybe with some brief showers at times. Same story for sections of Cuba and the Bahamas, but for most of Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, uh, the Virgin Islands, there isn't much happening this afternoon. And the ABC Islands are raining pretty dry and sunny as per usual. And so zooming out a bit further uh, across the tropical Atlantic, we have that new tropical wave emerging from the coast of Africa. It is currently marked on the surface chart. So here it is. Uh, there is a surface chart. We see that tropical wave located off Africa, just as I talked about earlier. And uh, we also have that uh, tropical wave across the central tropical Atlantic with that low pressure area developing, which is Invest 93L. And of course, to the west of that is Brett. So uh, 93L isn't looking in the very best right now however there are signs of organization and so there is that chance that it could become a tropical depression within the next day or two and uh, maybe even manage to make it a tropical storm status and acquire the name cindy which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and who knows if this new wave will become something significant uh, it is pretty far out and the imminent threat is brett so i'm not going to be focusing too much on it however i will let you guys know uh, the important details about it. So uh, in terms of 93L, still given a high 80% chance to develop. So there is a slight possibility, I would say, that this could bring some impacts to sections of the Leeward Islands. Uh, just a slight possibility right now. There can be many changes with this. So of course, I'll keep you guys posted on that. And that would more than likely be for uh, as we're going to be heading into next week. But now let's go ahead and talk about Brett in some detail. So we're looking at the satellite imagery of the storm and and here we have it. It is pretty organized as it is going to be making that closer approach to the Caribbean. The shear will start to take its toll and we will be seeing the effect in terms of it weakening and just having a more ragged appearance and be, uh, even looking asymmetrical on the satellite imagery. However, uh, it is going to be bringing those dangerous impacts to sections of the Caribbean. And so as we move on to the cone forecast for Brett, uh, there are more warnings that are in place. So as of 5 p.m. this evening, there is a tropical storm warning in effect for St. Lucia and Martinique. And a tropical storm watch is in effect for Barbados and Dominica. So uh, with a tropical storm warning, tropical storm conditions are typically expected within the next 36 hours. Meanwhile, with a watch, it is uh, 24 to 36 hours in this case here. So uh, there are going to be those tropical storm force winds a lot of that heavy rainfall uh, that is going to be resulting in some flooding across many areas that seems very likely and so i urge you guys to ensure that you have all your preparations in place uh, have an emergency kit as well as uh, an evacuation plan should in case you have to move out of your area to go somewhere safer to ride out the storm and even though it isn't a hurricane it has maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour just 10 miles per hour short of being a hurricane
So it has strengthened since earlier today and it has also been moving a little bit slower at 15 miles per hour now. However, as it enters the Caribbean, it should pick up in that acceleration toward the west and uh, by the by Saturday evening, we could see this dissipating and the remnants uh, making their way across the Central Caribbean headed to Central America. But for now, there's going to be a lot of that heavy rainfall, those strong winds, as I said, and there's uh, even going to be that coastal inundation that storm surge uh, possible from this and then another impact is those swells so it's not the ideal time to go to the beach right now we should be getting ready to hunker down and ride out bread as it is going to be making its way through the area heading to tomorrow uh, and through to Friday and so even though uh, the various islands we have Dominica Martinique uh, St. Lucia and Barbados being under the different uh, the respective watches and warnings uh, this is going to be widespread all that rainfall activity is going to be widespread to other areas and so i'll uh, go on to what the national hurricane center has stated in the recent advisory through Saturday, storm total rainfall amounts of 3 to 6 inches with maximum amounts of 10 inches are possible across portions of the Lesser Antilles from Guadeloupe south to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, including Barbados. The heavy rainfall could lead to flash flooding, especially across areas of higher terrain. Urban flooding is also possible. So the rainfall is going to be the most impactful side of this uh, system here. It's going to be the most impactful effect and uh, that poses a danger to life. Life and also property and so that is why I'm emphasizing that all measures should be taken to ensure preparedness between now and into early tomorrow because as the day goes on conditions are going to deteriorate while bread is going to be closing in and so I'll go in more north into the northeastern Caribbean headed to the rest of the Leeward Islands including areas such as uh, Antigua, Barbuda, going to Anguilla and even uh, over into St. Kitts and Nevis. Uh, not that there won't be any rainfall there certainly will be be, but in uh, those bands coming from the cyclone. So it's likely that those bands will bring some intermittent rainfall that might be heavy at times, but nothing too crazy expected there compared to uh, going southward to, to the aforementioned islands. And then a similar story for Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago. Not a whole lot expected for you guys, but certainly there will likely be some rainfall from Brett. And so now we want to go ahead and talk about the model track guidance. So we're looking at the latest and we're not seeing a big change compared to earlier. So the only model that is still taking this out is the uh, HWFI, that hurricane model there, uh, still expecting some craziness with this. But it is unlikely that bread is going to be making a northwestward track. It will continue westward. So that's the most likely outcome. It isn't expected to strengthen much. And uh, as such, it is just going to be weakening as it accelerates accelerates continually toward the west and then going on to the model intensity guidance here we can see that all of these models are expecting that there will be that gradual decrease in intensity one model expecting re-intensification after around the next five days but overall the models are in agreement for the most part that this will just gradually decrease in intensity as it makes its way into the Caribbean. And so guys, that is pretty much it with what is expected of Brett. Again, a dangerous situation here uh, because it is going to be unleashing those tropical storm force winds as well as that very heavy rainfall likely to trigger flooding and even landslides uh, will be possible as well. And so, uh, uh, of course, I'll continue to keep you posted. Be on the lookout for my updated video tomorrow. And that is pretty much it for now. And so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be with wise.